Paul says in Romans 12, 1, I urge you to present your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and pleasing to God. These bodies, everything we do with this can be an offering back to God. You are an offering back to God. And the only way God gets it is if you offer it to him. He doesn't take it. Offer him yourself, your body, your body, everything about it. All the parts you like and don't like and are trying to change. And all the parts that people are trying to cut off and attach new things to. Your body, your body, we need to know this in our culture. Your body actually is a gift. It's a beautiful, created gift that God wants us to bring to him. Like a sacrifice. To lay our, our bodies at his feet, like someone would bring a good sacrifice to God. That means you're gonna to have to change how you think about your sacrifice. Some of you hate your body, hate your flesh. And God has to do something in your mind to show you that actually when you bring your body to him, he finds it a good gift. Maybe no one ever told you that you are Good and purposed and wanted and will be received. He will receive that gift. No, I don't want it from God. Give it to him. And that means, you know what? If you're confused in your mind about who you are, what you are, your gender, your ideas, your sexuality, you're just confused, I want you to start here. I implore you to start here. Give yourself to God as you are. You don't have to have everything fixed in your mind yet. Think everything straight. You don't have to take your battles, your wrestles, everything, and just come to God and say, I am kind of a mess, um, but you want this, and I think I'm going to give it to you. Would you help me figure it out? And that can mean everything down to like taking care of your teeth better to who you're sleeping with. Our bodies are a gift. 